Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so this is the tour of my new RV. So I'm going to take you, and this is from this is the view from the front door. And um, if you go to the left, it takes you into the main living area of the RV. And in the main living area, I want to show you the entertainment area here. You've got a nice entertainment area with a radio, and you have some miscellaneous storage up in here not a whole lot of storage you can see I'm using that for just some bags and some miscellaneous stuff and then down here you have the TV and then down here you have some additional storage but I, you can show you what I'm using this for so it's it's not too bad it's some it's some pretty decent storage in there and then from here if you turn to the left you've got the slide which the slide is actually a pretty good size as you can see here it's a pulley slide and it's very nice very spacious now this table will come out and actually fold down so that you can have a, a bed here um, the draperies are very nice you also have those really nice shades just slide them down and they slide down nice and easily and then they slide up and so you have some nice draperies here this is my Mardi Gras beads from uh, Louisiana and there's a lot of windows which is what I like I really like the idea of having a lot of windows continuing over to the left is the living room area here and that includes a couch now right now I'm using the couch as my office setup and I have my office set up here and I'm not sure if the couch is going to stay or if the couch is going to go but <clears throat> it's working really well right now so and again some more windows here windows in the back and then you've got some shelving here um, you open up the shelving for some miscellaneous storage you know you can't really put anything major in there but um, and they're nice um, I don't know it's kind, of, it's kind of plastic but it's not I'm not sure what that is and then the one thing that was really appealing um, is the kitchen size now as you can see I have stuff pulled out and some of the stuff needs to get put away still but and then over here you've got the big farm sink which I really love the big farm sink this is really nice very nice so the kitchen area is very doable and there was some concerns about the counter space being over by the couch but I haven't really had any issues with it the only issue I have is the only plugs for the um, living room and kitchen is one under here and one under here and that's it so that makes it a bit challenging now I will readily admit that there is um, a plug over by the entertainment center so you know I suppose you could tap into that as well but you have a full stove and then of course you've got you know the three burner and then the oven the one thing that's very unique about this RV is that you have a residential refrigerator. This is a Whirlpool residential refrigerator and it works off of electricity and 12 volt, which is pretty cool. It's a very nice refrigerator. Then of course you have your outside lights and your inside lights and then you have your tanks. So battery, fresh water, black tank, gray tank, and then second gray tank. The first gray tank is your shower and your sink in the shower and the second gray tank is the kitchen which I thought was pretty unique all right if we continue to the left the next area that I want to show you is the bathroom and the two selling points of this RV is the kitchen and the bathroom as you can see this is a big bathroom lots of space to move around in and what I love is this shower the shower is really very spacious and uh, 
after the shower I had in Myrtle, this is really like being in a luxury hotel. So you have additional closet space here, medicines and stuff, your toiletries, and then you have a sink, and then you have additional storage here, which is a little smaller, but um, not too bad. Now, interestingly enough, you've got a door here to the bedroom, and you also have a door from the outside of the bathroom here going to the bedroom, so I'll show you that as we go through. This takes you back out to the front and take you into the bedroom here. The bedroom is very spacious. Um, the bed is a walk around bed, which is really nice. Unfortunately, I can't walk around it right now because I've got storage issues over here. And then this is the entrance from the bedroom into the bathroom. So, and again, you have two windows in the bedroom. It's an RV queen bed. Another window here. And again, storage issues are a challenge here. You have really, you really have no major closet space. As you can see, my clothes are just pretty much thrown in there. So I have to figure out what to do with those because there's no real hanging space. You do have space under the, the closet here. And then you have like, I guess like a hamper or something that you can throw down here, which is really the under storage bay. A drawer here. Then you have some additional storage up here. Which is very small again. And then on the other side, it's the same thing. So again, not, not a lot of storage. That was probably the one issue that I'm probably most unhappy about is the lack of storage. Overall, I'm very happy with the RV, but the storage could be a little bit better. Now you do have an area here that you can wall mount a television. And interestingly enough, in the bedroom, there's electrical sockets everywhere. There's one, two, three, four. There's four of them in just the bedroom alone. And there's one in the bathroom. Okay. The RV is um, central air ducted with a 13.5 BTU air conditioner. In addition to that, you can turn the ducting off by opening up the vents and that allows the air to run right into the main living area or you can close it off and it goes through the multiple ducts across the, um, the RV. There's speakers pre-mounted. And as I said before, it's just a very nice, you know, it's not huge. It's just a very nice RV in terms of its, um, what it offers and its size. A little bit bigger than Myrtle, uh, which is nice because it gives you a little bit more space.